Some people believe classical music is the art form that preserves civilization, decency, and high morals. These people have never seen Salome. When the curtain goes up, it's a hot moonlit night in Judea at the palace of King Herod. He's holding a banquet, but his beautiful young niece, the princess Salome, is bored as any sensible teenager would be, especially when she can't send a text. She's also bothered by the looks she's getting from Herod. If she could text, it would be hashtag creepy uncle. She comes out onto the terrace and hears a man's voice coming from a cell nearby. It's Herod's prisoner, Yochanan, better known as the prophet John the Baptist. Herod locked him up because the prophet's been doing some Mosaic law trash talking about Salome's mother, a divorcee who married Herod while her first husband was still alive. The guards have strict orders to keep John in his cell, but Salome charms the captain into bringing John before her. The prophet insultingly condemns Herod and Salome's mother and Salome, but the girl is enchanted. She wants to touch John's beautiful white body. He says no. Okay then, your black hair, she says. John says no. Okay then, Salome says, your red mouth is beautiful. I want to kiss it. I will kiss it. John says no and goes back into his cell. Herod appears, pleading with Salome to come back to the banquet. She refuses. Then Herod says, Salome, if you dance for me, baby, I'll give you anything you ask. Salome sees an opportunity and agrees to dance for Herod, but it's no sweet little opera house ballet. It's the dance of the seven veils, and it goes like this. Oh, sorry, sorry, like this. Oh, uh, sorry, it goes like this. Yeah, yeah, same idea as the other two, except Strauss's dance is much creepier. Salome is dancing for her lecherous uncle, and after she drops the seventh veil, Herod is very pleased until he hears Salome's wish. Salome wants the head of John the Baptist on a plate. Her mother, of course, is delighted. Who doesn't want to kill a critic? Herod is horrified, but he gave his word and can't back out. And at this point, the tenor singing the role of John usually dashes out of the theater in case one of the supernumeraries gets carried away with a prop sword. Because the next thing we see is John's head on a plate. Salome sings to it, I told you I would kiss your mouth, Yochanan. And then she does. And for about the next 15 minutes, Salome sings a love song of obscene ecstasy to that severed head. And at the end of it, Herod is so repulsed, he orders his men to kill the girl. And the curtain falls. The story of Salome comes from the Bible and mostly from Oscar Wilde's play. But Strauss's music brings out the madness and lust in just about every character on stage. So the next time you hear about a pop star princess who's become a teenage train wreck, just be thankful she hasn't demanded a beheading as the price of a lap dance. And that's Salome in three minutes.